In this tutorial, you will learn how to create and use a macro in Microsoft Word. Macros are one of the most powerful features of Microsoft Word, so powerful that in fact at some point it asked itself to be disabled because people were writing various forms of code and distributing it in document disguise. The power of Word macros comes from the fact that they are in fact full visual basic scripts, not just a sequence of recorder commands. In order to use the macro features, we need first to get access to them. This is done by customizing Word's toolbar, which is called Ribbon. Select File, then Options. Select Customize Ribbon. From the Customize the Ribbon section at the main tab, click Insert and then New Group to add your macro group. Click Rename and call it Macros. Scroll in the list on the left until you find the macros command. Add them to your macros group by clicking the Add button in the middle. Click OK. Go back to your text document. Click Insert. As you can see, on the right side of your ribbon, there is a new option called Macros. Great! Now we have access to the macros. Click it to enter macro mode. Word will ask you for a new name to be assigned to your macro. Give it a name and click Run. The Visual Basic interface loads up. While powerful, the interface can be disorienting for a non-programmer. If you are a programmer, you will know very well what you have to do here. For everyone else, here's what we have to do. Close the Visual Basic interface and come back to the text document. Click View. At the end of this ribbon, there is also a Macros menu. Click the little triangle beneath the Macros label. From the menu that appears, choose Record Macro. You can put this macro on a button or store it into the document you have opened. Optionally, enter a description for your macro. Start performing your macro in the order that you want. When you're done, go again to the menu beneath macros and choose Stop Macro. You can run your macro anytime by choosing Macro. View Macros and clicking Run, or you can edit it in the environment we saw earlier. Congratulations! You have learned how to create and use a macro in Microsoft Word. This was a HowTech.TV tutorial. Leave your comment below or contact us by email. Thanks for watching.